Mr. Oh interested in Captain Cook. Well, sir, he very intelligent and ambitious. His knowledge of seamanship is second to none. And if I trust my favorite barmaid in Halifax, he also just became captain of his own man of war. He's also an expert at deciphering secret codes. A man with such a skill is certainly an asset to our cause. The kind of fellow we should welcome in the order, then. Well, he's a friend of mine, but the man has an annoying habit of strict honesty and a total lack of anything resembling guile. Makes it a little hard to keep secret business secret, especially when his mathematical brain is clever at cracking codes. Consider him an ally. But watch what you say around him. Duly noted. I've heard Louisbourg could be a linchpin in the war. If the Royal Navy can take that fort, it'll be clear sailing down the St. Lawrence. And Montreal. The tide is turning. General Wolfe will give that craven Montcalm a right thrashing. I've been looking forward to that since Fort William Henry. With this bloody war over, we'll finally bring order to this damned continent. I fear we'll take more than that, friend. There she is! The HMS Pembroke. Captain James Cook's ship. She's a beauty. Man of war. Fully armed. We should bring the Morrigan alongside. Master Kenway will surely be waiting. Welcome aboard, gentlemen. Good to see you again, Captain. Captain Shea Cormac? Captain James Cook. Pleased to make your acquaintance. Pleasure's mine, sir. Captain Cook uncovered a rather distressing stratagem, which I fear confirms our own intelligence. Indeed. As we speak, our Royal Navy fleet is on its way to Louisbourg. However, the French have drawn up a preemptive strike against it, if they launch this attack. Obviously, we cannot allow that to happen. Gentlemen, the Battle of Louisbourg could very well be the turning point which will finally bring this war to a close. I don't know about you, but I've had enough of war. Then may I suggest you take the wheel, Captain Cormac? I think you might enjoy piloting a vessel with real... Uh... Firepower. I believe I shall, Captain. Lawrence and Whitmore lead the three divisions of the Royal Navy. Who's their commander? Major General Amherst himself, back from Hanover. You take an interest in the war, Shay? Wouldn't want to disappoint you, sir. let any through. It is imperative we stop those ships, Captain. The outcome of the war may depend on it. Make good use of your own mortars, Shay. They will prove crucial if we are to succeed. For sale! For sale! On fire! Fire! Captain, that's a man of war, sir. She's so mortars in coming, Jake! Fire! 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 Fire!
Dear God, fire ships. Should they break through, they would devastate our fleet. And we'd better not let that happen. I recognize that vessel, sir. It's the Experto Credit. At Wally. How fortunate he is that we have other priorities. Agreed. We have to get rid of those fire ships. We're right in their path. We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way. She's sunk. Oh, We're right in their ship. path. We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way. Ready to fire, sir. Captain, look! Mortars! We're right in their path. We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way. Ready to another wave of fire ships, Captain! I believe Master Kenway is correct, Captain. Mortars would prove most advantageous right now. Ship coming after the fire! On your mark. We're right in their path! We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way! More enemy ships, sir! And more fire ships! This is hopeless. Perhaps it would be wiser to fall back. War and wisdom don't always mix, Captain. This isn't over yet, lads. Man the cannons! Gah! Fire! That's ah! that that's and you like the war! Fire! That's They're firing water! We're right in their path! We have to sink that fire ship or get out of their way! Fire! wiser to fall back. War and wisdom don't always mix, Captain. This isn't over yet, lads. Man the cannons! Here's the Royal Navy. We cleared the way just in time, Captain Cormac. The tide of war is turning. That was quite a crack, wasn't it? It is too soon for celebrations. But Awale is still out there. I'm sure we'll get another turn to dance with him, Master Kenway.
Dr. Kenway seems determined to destroy Adewale. Aren't you? He's a powerful man in his own right, and a symbol of hope for the assassins. Eliminating him... Kenway seems determined to destroy Adewale. Aren't you? He's a powerful man in his own right, and a symbol of hope for the assassins. Eliminating him would shake them to their core. It would, I know. But it seems a shame. He's a good man, Gist. So was the Elder Washington, and Smith. I rather enjoyed drinking with him. could not hold his liquor. He and Weeks never got along, you know. If you're trying to test my conscience, get... This 
I don't like that wind, sir! Floating cargo for the taking, sir! Look what the wind just blew in. Hail and good morrow, gentlemen. Once again, Captain Cook's resourcefulness has served us well. I have located the man you were seeking. Atawale. Exactly. He was last seen in the French fort not two leagues from here along the river. What would that scallywag be doing in a French fort? Refitting his vessel, I suppose, after Louisbourg. Thank you, Master Cook. We'll take it from here. Farewell and Godspeed. Gentlemen. The fort's just up ahead. Good. Let us continue onward. Let out some sail! That's curl of you saints for service. What is that doing here? That makes no sense. Those rivers barely have enough draft for an ocean-going vessel. She'll be nearly impossible to maneuver. Maneuverability is hardly the point. Well, I don't intend to find out the point. Let's stay out of her way. We can find our way around her. Just keep to the smaller rivers where she can't follow. And do try to remain unseen. We don't want to attract unwanted attention. Why would the French bring such a ship inland? As the war is drawing to its close, they're becoming desperate. They'll expend any efforts to gain firepower. No offense to Captain Cook, but that lady has more firepower than any I've had the pleasure of meeting. It's not really my type. But the French ones can have a certain charm. But did I ever tell you the story of Madame Frenette? <laughs> that wasn't her real name, but... Well, not the time. Point is, I think I know a safe place where we can debark. Say hello! What's the plan? We bombard the fort? Stole that fort. Aye. We need to know what we're up against. I could take care of that. Indeed. We'll find a safe place to go. There's the gallants and ruins! We'll go to the fort. Find out what Adewale's doing there. Keep the Morrigan close, Kiss. Aye, sir. I'll keep her close. Good luck, Shay. I make my own luck. Master Kenway. Ne bouge plus!
geste Reviens ici ah Go to the fort. Find out what Adewale is doing there. Keep the Morrigan close, Gist. Je l'ai 
Easy. So, the Templars sent their dog after me. Time to test your metal shield. He'd stand still and fight me. Adamali is mostly on his own terms, picking the battlefield. And on his own ship, he is most team. Fight for crisis! Else we'll be swimming home tonight! This river's getting uncomfortably narrow. Don't you worry, sir. Shea has gotten us out of Titus Creek before. And the lake ahead is a dead end. Adamali won't be able to get out. It is. Man of War can't follow us anymore. Fire! Nice and he's beached his ship! A novel tactic. He's saving his crew. No. He's making a last stand. Let's not disappoint him. Go after him, Shay. I will circle around. <laughs> 